guys, Christine here. Today I'm going to show you how to make this beef rolladen. It's a German dish and it is usually served with red cabbage and some spade sauce. This dish is wonderful for when you have special occasions or special guests and you want to impress them. So without further ado, let's get on with it. Here are the ingredients that we need for this recipe. You will need slices of beef like this. I am using sirloin strip, but you can also slice beef yourself, but make sure they are this thin and at least this wide so that you will have a good serving size of rolladen. We also need some bacon and some dills. These are dill pickles and this is what I'm using. We also need some onions cut in halves and sliced. We will also need some mustard. If you can get German type mustard, that's great. If not, Dijon mustard will work well. Some salt and pepper for a seasoning. We'll also need some strings to tie up the rouladen to hold their shape while we bake them. Before I assemble the rouladen, I started boiling my broth ingredients and I just put this in low heat so that by the time I finish rolling up the rouladen and browning them, this will be ready to be poured into the baking dish. Now we're going to start assembling the rouladen. So first thing we're going to do, so you get a piece of this sliced beef. We're going to spread some mustard on one side, season with salt and pepper. Add some bacon and you're going to layer this. So you're going to have to cut this bacon in half length. Layer with some onions, placing them properly that they're not going to fall out and that they can roll evenly. Add a piece of dill. Roll this up from one end, making sure that each filling is tucked in properly and that they're like rolled up evenly. Don't worry if sometimes there's like a hole there and you feel like it's gonna fall out because you're gonna tie this up with a string anyway. And now we're going to tie up this rouladen just to secure all this filling and it won't fall out while we bake them or cook them. And you want to do what you want to put these strings about an inch or half an inch from the ends. Let me show you one more time and you're going to do this until you have assembled all the strip loin. If you happen to have some leftover or extra of this onions, bacon, and some deals, just cut them up in little pieces and, and throw them into the pot with broth. Next step, we're going to brown our rouladen. So in a pan, add in some oil to know if your pan is hot enough. You're going to hear it sizzle as you lay down the meat. And you want to roll this and make sure that all the sides are brown. I want to do this step because we want to have that golden brown color on our meat and we kind of like to create that brown crust and to lock in all the juices and flavor in our meat. And then we're going to continue cooking this in the oven. After you've browned all the rouladen, next thing is you want to add in the broth into the baking dish, making sure that the rouladen is covered in broth. You also want to secure the baking dish with another baking sheet just in case it spills over. Cover it with foil, make sure to seal it well so the steam remains inside and you're going to bake this for 45 minutes at 400 degree Fahrenheit. 45 minutes later, your rouladen should look like this. Now, we're going to take all these juices out and we will make them as gravy. 
but first from the leftover broth take one cup and mix it with cornstarch make sure you whisk it well to dissolve the cornstarch into the liquid then put all the remaining broth and the juices all together in another saucepan next add in your cornstarch mixture Keep whisking and stirring as you add the cornstarch mixture to make sure it is dissolved into the liquid. Boil this for about 5 minutes until it thickens. Now it's ready to be served. We're going to match our roladen with some spatzels and some red cabbage. Now that's some traditional German dish with spatzel pasta and some red cabbage or you can also have it with potato balls and some mixed vegetables. Now you want to try some German Asian? Match it up with some white rice and some green beans. Mm -mm -mm. Don't you feel hungry yet? Hey guys, I hope you like that video but you should check out this one too and this. Don't forget to hit like, share this video, subscribe if you haven't. Thank you for watching.